Alright, I'm going to be doing a care video on my Kimberly Rock monitor. I'm not ex very experienced with these and I don't know, not not everything's going to be right. Maybe it is, but I'm not really sure. And if you have any more questions, email me. I might know. Alright, they reach around two, two and a half feet at like full length. They they require a pretty high humidity, like 60%. Their basking spot goes from anywhere 100 to 120 degrees. Mine right now is 103, but I've been opening the cage. I just opened the cage, so it kind of went down. Um, the cage size is four foot long, three foot high, two foot deep. Maybe a little bit less because of the background. Come six in a little bit. And um, he could probably live in here all of his life, but I'm thinking about opening up, opening up the bottom of this up into the top, so it's the whole entire thing. Once I get a female form, because I'm going to be getting a female pretty soon, and hopefully they'll breed. Um, babies, you can keep them in 20 to 40 gallon, depending on how many you're putting in each cage. Um, I feed mine crickets, roaches, pinkies, or a ch like chopped pinkies. You could probably eat small pinkies by now, but but I haven't really got a hold of any real real babies. Um, they really like tight. They really like tight places. That's his tail. He's uh, he's squeezed up in that. These are just a bunch of tiles my dad got a hold of. And I stacked them up in there. This cork bark, this cork bark, like, keeps the humidity pretty well. So I have a couple pieces of that. And there's a water dish behind the cork bark. I don't know if you could have seen that, but um, I couldn't really find that much care for him, but. I found a couple sites that have them, like Canadian Cold Blooded has them, Rare Earth Inc. has them, also Shoebox Reptiles, they have them, Pet Rock Reptiles has them, and then also Liquid Lizard, they have other dwarf monitors, and I don't think they have any Kimberly's, and Price Animal Company, they have some dwarf monitors too. I don't know if I'm missing any that I know of, but um, that's pretty much it. Oh, the substrate I have them on is sand or play sand and topsoil mixed together. I a lot of people recommend dirt. I might do that in the future, but this was just easier to come by, surprisingly. And um, yeah. I would recommend getting one too. They're really cool if you have the money. They're just like how they move and everything is awesome. They're really good climbers. So arboreal cages, like nice and tall cages would be really nice for them. They climb around a lot. Um, they're really fast. Like right when I got it, first day I opened the cage up and he like jumped right on out into my room. He's tamed down to where he'll come out like onto your arm, but I kind of don't really let him do that very much because he'll he'll try to get off. He'll try to jump into my room, but that's pretty much it. All right, later.